a fish finger pie. Put it on a plate. Greetings from the air, my friends. That's right, boys and girls. If you are watching this right after it was uploaded, I am somewhere over the Atlantic Ocean right now. Am I on a plane, you might ask? No. I am actually lost at sea right now, so uh, please, pl please send help, okay? I've been paddling towards Britain for hours, and I figured why not pass the time with some good old-fashioned British entertainment? No, I'm not talking about the worst version of The Office. I'm talking about Kay's cooking, baby. And boy, today we are in for a good Good one. Fish finger pie. Now look, I've had many pies in my life. Actually, you know what? That's that's probably a lie. I would actually guess I've had a below average amount of pies throughout the duration of my life. I, I'm not a big pie guy, not gonna lie. However, with that being said, I have had enough pies to know that fish fingers do not belong in them. And in my opinion, neither do beans. And well, I'll give you guys two guesses on two of the main ingredients for this pie. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. I'm in a unique position because depending on when you're watching this, I might have already landed, I, I mean paddled into London. And I'm gonna go into the airport because I feel like that's the best place to go after you uh, paddle into a country. And I'm gonna see if I can find a fish finger and bean pie. If not, okay, expect a knock on your door, all right? Let's begin. Please subscribe. Hi, people, and I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to be making a fish finger pie. As you can see, they are birds. Captain Bird's Eye fish fingers. Is it Captain Bird's Eye? It's Captain anyway. And they are fish fingers. The one and only thing that I will ever give the Brits credit for is the phrase fish finger. I wish we called fish sticks fish fingers in America because I think it's just so funny. I mean, fish don't even have fingers. Where do you guys get this stuff? As you can see, I know I didn't show you putting the fish fingers in, but they're done anyway. They're done. And the proper... Apparently the proper birds are, well the lady in the shop said they are. So I'm going to cut these up. I've got some spud taters cooking already. I know that pairing fish with potatoes or making some sort of fish pie is a normal thing, even in America, but as a southerner, where it's where it's not, I cannot imagine biting into a heap of mashed potatoes and getting a fish stick. I feel like I would definitely be fighting whoever prepared that meal. Uh, that is then all cut up, as you can see, or as I would say, all cutted up, but cutted isn't a word, is it? So they're all cutted up. You can see the fish fingers are in the dish. I'm going to put some beans. Something about a woman scooping pounds of baked beans into a dish devoid of anything but store-bought fish fingers is quite poetic. Because, I mean, it is definitely food on a surface level. You really can't say that it's not edible. But there is definitely something deeper here. And by deeper, I mean spiritually horrifying. As it said to put beans on it. That's a few beans. Bit of juice. There's not much juice in these. But you know how to get more juice in your beans. You know when you empty your tin in a dish, put a bit of water in the bottom of the dish and swallow it round and get more juice. Well, okay, um, I really appreciate the quick cooking tip right there, but I've got to be honest, I don't think I've ever been opening a can of pre-made beans and thought, you know what? Oh yeah, was these bad boys were a little more juicy. Yeah, let me swirl around and really water down the bean juice. I've got to have more liquid. As you can see, the spud taters are done. I'm going to put some margin and a bit of milk. And now I'm going to mash them. As you can see, I've put the beans in it now. I'm putting the spud taters in. Now look, I can't say this for certain because I didn't watch the entire potato making process, but I'm going to take a, take an educated guess here and say that there's been absolutely no seasoning added to any component of this entire dish. I'm sure it's going to be a flavor powerhouse. I'm gonna put too much in to over. I might need a bit more in. At a moment. A bit more. I know I didn't show you me mashing the potato. Oh, it's potatoes. 
but it does take a lot because it, it's painful to mash them. I know she's probably referring to just some sort of wrist problem or like arthritis, but it's much less sad and much more funny to imagine that she just formed an emotional connection with the potatoes and genuinely felt bad about mashing them. So I'm just going to turn the dish round. And, show, and something I was learnt to do. Little decoration. Now I'm going to put that in the oven for 10 minutes and see how it comes out. And that is the end product. This is definitely the equivalent of like a crock pot meal for British people. You come home from school and you see your mom is making fish pie casserole and your day is just ruined. I mean, I don't know how popular this really is, but if it is a popular dish, I'm sure it got made all the time. This takes like what, maybe five minutes of actual preparation? I'm sure British children see the words of fish finger pie and run for the hills. I'm going to now cut some out. Put it on a plate. Here is the taste test. And now for the taste test. I'm sorry, Lee, what was that? Were you momentarily transformed into Invader Zim? You can't taste the beans. I probably didn't put enough in. But yeah, everything nice. Um, are you sure they're bird's eye? My god, look at the seriousness on this man's face. All the happiness was immediately drained as soon as the fish sticks were brought into question. This is a serious situation. Also, real quick question for British people. Uh, I'm not trying to make a joke here, I'm really asking. How often, like average Brit, how often would you say that you guys eat baked beans? Because my experience with the K's cooking channel has led me to believe that British people eat beans like once a day. Surely not, right? Well, that's what it says on the box. Oh yeah, it's like that. Yeah. Now, I can't see me. <laughs> but yeah, the taste don't taste as nice as they used to. Yeah, well, everything changes in time. You know, they're a bit more blander than normal. Mm. But yeah, apart from that, thumbs up. Now, I've never had a bird's eye fish finger, so maybe the recipe has changed, but, uh, quick, quick idea. Just wanted to throw this out here. Maybe, maybe it's not the fish finger that's making it bland. Maybe it's the, uh, heap of mashed potatoes that went down with it that were unseasoned. I, uh, I feel like that might alter the experience at least slightly. Well, guys, what do you think? Why do you think British people eat this way? I mean, is the royal family that oppressive? I, I didn't know. I thought you could eat whatever you wanted in Britain, but, uh, clearly not, at least. Hopefully not, right? Anyways, I should be paddling into London any minute now, so uh, maybe, maybe I'll get a fish finger pie for myself. Just kidding. If you guys ever hear me talking about eating a fish finger pie, I want you to know that I have been replaced by the British government, okay? That is not me. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.